We're here today to celebrate the fact of recovery from addiction, being alive in Scotland and thriving. We're here today to support the recovery communities in Scotland and for those that are suffering and those that we've lost, to show them that you can recover and I've got the right people around about you. Addiction is about isolating and it's just you and your mad head and whatever you're doing to cope. Whereas recovery is about getting that social network, getting that resilience. If you have a problem in recovery, there's going to be someone that you know who's got the same problem and you can take some advice on that problem. We can tackle addiction, mental health together, using people who's got the lived experience, who have came through it, because they're the most powerful examples that you can get. Every day is a new experience, a day for learning, more about me and my recovery, and how to help others that help me. My recovery was through peers, so people further on in me, in recovery, guiding me. It's about paying it forward. People were there for me to help me get to where I am and I'm there to assist other people behind me who are coming through their journey. That gave me the knowledge and skills to become a father and then in recovery I got a gift, uh, which is, you know, a wee George here. I was doing what I had to do to cope with life. I couldn't deal with all the stresses and I didn't know there were other ways of doing it. And then I met people who'd been there, seen it, done it, and could show me what they did to get out of this maze of addiction. And without their help, I wouldn't be here today. I'd be dead. So um, I'm loving today. Recovery on the way. <laughs> here we go. We use our own experiences to help give identification to people. We share in our pain so other people can get the identification how we came through that pain and we teach them how to take responsibility to show love and compassion towards ourselves and love and compassion towards other people and that empathy lifts the spirit it gives them that hope and strength where they become powerful examples to other people and that's what my recoveries gave me it's become an example to my, my son, my family, my community and other people who know me I lost my lovely daughter, she was only 16 when she died. Um, so I come today in memory of her and also to see the fantastic recovery community here. It's amazing how people can be in recovery and get on with their lives and enjoy themselves. I bring my daughter to this place today and I know she was with me. She was with me. Been speaking to some uh, mums that have been to family support groups and they had their sons with them. Uh, primarily, it's like kind of older ladies who phone us about their adult son, and their boys are there with them, proud as punch that mum's out hanging about with them for the day, and they've absolutely loved it. They're in recovery too, because the family members need to recover as well as individuals who have had issues in the past. I've got my family back, I've got two grandsons that I've never seen for two, nearly two years, and they're my wee angels. We were right through George Square today. That was an amazing boost. Just to have that support coming back at us from another event, just being so supportive, it struck me that's the culture of Scotland. That's the sort of open-heartedness of Scotland of which we are very much a part. I felt really heartened. This is our city and you're walking through it and there were so many people, just general members of the public, very much in support of today. Walking through that town today was a buzz, it was absolutely amazing, amazing. One of the best feelings I've had, better than any drug. There is life after addiction. We have to say that to people out there that's not in recovery, that you know there is a way out. This is what recovery is about, it's about standing up and saying, you can recover, we are here and you can do it too. There are still struggling addicts out there all over the place and they don't know anyone who recovers and if you know one person in recovery, you stand a 29% better chance of getting into recovery yourself. If you know a whole 2,000 people in recovery, you've got to stand a chance.
the reason for this match today is to show those who are suffering in Scotland that we can help save lives if we work together. Just say that five years ago, North West Recovery Communities didn't exist. Well done, you exist. I don't know if you can describe what this does for the whole of the country when we start to gather as a recovery community, as a movement. Angus, Aberdeen, Aberdeenshire, the borders, well done, you exist. We start to draw inspiration from each other. We have a million ideas in one short event and people go back home and they're making plans on their buses for what they're going to do, how they're going to increase recovery in Scotland. We boost it dead simply by gathering people together, feeling our strength and showing this recovery love to a city that's never seen it before like this. So Glasgow, you've been recovered up today. Everybody is now flying the flag of recovery and you did that every day, every way. Well done, you exist! Yeah.